too bad you met me. My turn, finally. Oh, now. Not bad, but too bad you met me.
wasn't expecting to do a voiceover or talk onto this, but uh, I think the performance is kind of unprecedented and uh, this build has actually gotten a lot better than I expected to, be, to, to get. So I'm at this point where I'm thinking actually right now that this may be better than Whirlwind um, because of how it scales attack speed um, and also a few more added on extra information uh, that I'm gonna dispense because, you know, just minor improvements I've put into the build uh, they have allowed me to almost double the DPS and at the same time uh, go for EHP basically going from like 40k to 120 right so I've almost tripled my EHP and doubled my DPS and if you ask me, like, there's not much changes I've actually uh, added onto the build. A lot of the items are almost exactly the same. Uh, a lot of it was actually optimization for skills and figuring out a core mechanic of uh, spinning strikes. What's it called again? Sp uh, spiral strike. Okay, a core mechanic of spiral strike. Okay, so uh, first things first. Uh, yeah, how do I manage to increase the HP? went through all my uh, talents and dropped just the raw DPS ones so you see all those that have like there's flat damage percentage damage I figured those were not so worth it at all uh, so I dropped a majority of them uh, I've kept the crit and all that and all the multiplier stuff but I dropped these and I think the total DPS drop was about 20% 25% total which wasn't very much then I added all into uh, maximum life so I just got life everywhere on the tree and then EHP pretty much just tripled because I got I got life everywhere, and then I, I maxed out my erosion resistance. Yeah, so that was it. Yeah, there's not much changes, just mainly flat damage, not flat damage, percentage damage to life uh, on the tree. Okay, next I'm going to talk about some skill uh, uh, skill changes. I changed this electric overload. This is cheap because a lot of these uh, I got 21 because they are really, really cheap. No one actually uses them. I don't know why, but whatever. So electric overload is better than the other one because it gives you like 40% total, uh, more damage. Um, yeah, so that's a buff after your critical strike so that you're always going to crit, so that's 40. Attack focus is really nice uh, because you get critical rating as well as uh, percentage damage and you get 5 stacks of this, so it's 30% more, 30% more and 50% uh, additional critical strike rating. Uh, landing piercing is always good when you don't have a lot of pierce elsewhere. Uh, melee knockback is obviously good because of the synergy with the ranger Arden is the only one I can't find uh, 21 for because this is expensive uh, whatever so uh, that was that change uh, for... okay this is the same um, no no change there okay for Blathurst I figured actually that you don't really need duration and cooldown recovery because you're going to hit the boss constantly so you want mass effect, barbath and mania yeah uh, so I've actually refined a lot of my reservations. I was running like some stupid setup that I didn't, you know, it wasn't optimal because I didn't know how reservations worked in this uh, game. But now that I know, uh, it's I basically found an optimal solution. So right now, because I've got a lot of life, uh, I went for I went from like two point five k life to like five k, dropping four hundred life is like really not that much. So what I did here is uh, I'm using curse on hit with electrocute, which takes electrocute out of the bar. Uh, this is really nice. I use I didn't know you could do this, but Abysmal Hit is amazing because only 4% uh, increase. I'm using CU conversion, which is basically use it to reserve life instead of uh, mana. Okay, down here I have Fearless, Swiftness, Magical Source, and Electric Conversion. Swiftness is great because uh, movement speed scales the, the speed at which you travel in your Spiral Strike. So if you, you know your Spiral Strikes can be activated quickly, but if you don't have movement speed, um, the duration of the spike, the, the, the the duration of the movement uh, kind of takes cuts into your DPS. So having more movement speed is actually somewhat an indirect DPS boost. Just saying. So this is a 34 CU mana. I mean, it's not that much. So the movement speed is great. You can level this level 1 actually, because level 1 is pretty much the same as level 9. And you have reserve way really less. I just happen to have enough mana, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, electric conversion is always good. Fearless. Yeah. Magical sources for mana regeneration, just because yeah, you know, uh, you're using mana and you just want to never run out of mana. Okay, last one is Cast and Critical Strike, C Conversion, Blizzard, and Mount. I didn't know that this combination worked. <laughs> and I and I and once I found out about it, it was kind of stupid. Uh, so you basically minus 4% Lightning Res with Blizzard, and then you mark as well. So what mark does is that uh, you uh, get more Critical Strike damage on your target. Uh, and uh, 
they have less evasion, so they they don't evade your stuff. I don't, I don't know. Something like that. Okay, the last thing I'm going to teach you guys, or I'll impart to you, is something I've discovered. So, um, attack speed is actually the best. So, I was thinking to myself, I was thinking, uh, crit chance is good on your weapons, but the answer is not. It's not really that good. What you really want is attack speed on gear. So, you want attack speed, and uh, you want your main hand attack speed to be higher than that of your... Uh, you need a rather as high as possible. So, if you can see here... I got it my details. My main head attack speed is 2.29. And this is a sword obviously, so this is 2.0. If I move the sword here to the main hand, I actually do less damage. Uh, just just how Spiral Strike calculates the number of hits it's meant to hit with, I think it only takes your main hand. And uh, the way those building works is that your off hand, I think the percentage, whatever it is, uh, is applied to your main hand as well. So if your main hand base is higher, go put that in your main hand. It doesn't really matter about the dam flat damage of the weapon itself because a lot of the damage getting is coming from uh, dexterity. So it's going to always be the same as long as it's the same tier. So 12, um, 12, you know, 5, 1 to 5 to 12. It's, gonna, it's the same for both. The difference is the attack speed. So you always want your um, sword to be here and you want your dagger to be here. There's also a reason why I've moved away from a dual sword setup and gone into a dagger sword setup, uh, not a dagger, claw sword setup. Just because claws have just a way higher attack speed base, you have 2.829. If you get, let's say, a 50, a 45 percent roll on this um, from the corrosion, this can go up to like 2.58 or something. I obviously haven't found that yet. Uh, I might save up for one. I don't know, but yeah, that that will be something I'm gonna count for. Uh, also, one more thing: you want you don't want two daggers. You want one dagger and one. Uh, you want you want two claws. You want one claw and one sword. Because hero's longsword gives you paralysis, so you hit for many times. So this is gonna be it, you're gonna apply paralysis anyway, um, and this is basically a ten percent more multiplier. So that's the reason why you still have a sword on your, your offhand. Uh, what else? Not much. If you want to look at my gears, pretty much the same. I've done a few changes to resistances, but mostly you see, it's just dex resistances, uh, dex resistances. Dex and resistances. Dex and resistances. And these are not like super expensive. In fact, if you think about it, this, uh, these are like 20, 30 FEs each. They're not very costly. So the armor is pretty easily attainable. Uh, the armor is like 30, 25 FE. This, two, two FEs, uh, one or two FEs, really. Uh, and, and maybe the only expensive things in the build will be your infinity uh, belt with the versatile. That was, that's at least 100 FEs minimum. Uh, if you have decent stats, in this case I have fire resin, agility blessing, it has cost me maybe a bit more, like 250. Uh, weapons are also expensive, generally the dagger will be cheaper, so my dagger was probably about 100 FEs around there, and the offhand is like about 100 plus or 100 FEs. Yeah, rings are like 20 as well. It's just resistances and decks. As you can tell, like the gear isn't very expensive, it's not like insane like other builds, so total I think Everything here is maybe like so 20. Let, let's count, all right. That's 30, 30. Let, let's keep, make it more generous, right? 30 is a bit high. 30, 30, 30, 30. 30. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 630 is 180. 180 plus 250 is about 430. Uh, 430 plus. This is 80. 430 plus 80. Uh, my memory's right. Uh, 430 plus 80 is 510, 510 plus 100, okay, so this is 610, then 612, so 612 FEs, and you should generally get the same level of performance as this build, yeah, so that's all there is to it, if you enjoyed, uh, I'm probably going to do other bosses as well, oh, that's the first time I've done this actually, um, then actually any other boss, Might do is that tier eight actually? Oh, okay, I'm gonna do this and I'm probably like, hmm, I'll probably do some stuff. This is tier eight, probably, yeah. So I'm just gonna do uh, this map with this and see how it goes. 
I just hit, I just dinged 96, that's the only reason why I'm doing bosses. Uh, otherwise I'll just be farming and doing maps. Uh, and leveling. Hmm. Well, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Please wait, I don't know what's this. Oh shit, there you go. Strap trade. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So one more level and I get uh, this back again. Oh, another DPS. Uh... Oh, another DPS uh, thing that I removed. Probably this one. Ripple Strike Reading. It's nice. Okay. <laughs> 